Grubs are a passive insect in Grounded, and they can be tricky to find if you don't know where to look. In this video, I'm going to show you the best place to find grubs in Grounded. If you find the video helpful, please click the like button as it helps get it out to more people just like you. Let's get started. Grubs can drop three different resources. The first is raw grub meat. This can be used obviously to cook or you can put it on the jerky rack. They can also drop grub goop as well as grub hide. So let's quickly take a look at what each of these resources can be used for. So if we come over here to our workbench, it'll show you all the resources you've found so far. So real quick, we'll look at the grub hide. So grub hide is needed to make the mite hat, the larva blade, the weevil shield, all the grub armor pieces, the vest, the leggings, and the goggles, shinobi sneeze, the canteen, and the uh, firefly hanging lantern. Of these, the most important is probably gonna be your canteen. Canteen can be used to fill up with water from dew collectors or that you find drops off of the uh, blades, blades of grass. And it can also be used to store soda or juice from the juice boxes and soda cans. And then grub goop is used to make the grub vest and it's also used to make the smoothie station. So let's quickly head over here and I'll show you the smoothie station if you haven't seen it before. The smoothie station allows you to craft various different things. So I have all these unlocked. You may have some, you may have less, but you'll notice that the grub goop is used to make normal smoothies. And then there's a, also a beefy version but grub goop is going to be the thing you're going to find. You're probably going to find grub goop well before you find the mussel sprouts. So if you're interested in making any smoothies, like we have up here, all these different smoothies that you can use to boost your stats, you're going to need some grub goop. So let's go head out real quick and I will show you, actually, let's just go on top of the house real quick. And I'll show you the different places that you can find, that you can typically find grubs. All right, we made it to the top of the house. And the three places you're most likely to find grubs are gonna be the grasslands. So anywhere you see green grass, there is a chance to have grubs in it. Now, while they can be there, I will say that that's probably the least reliable because the grasslands are so big, it's often gonna be hard to find the grubs as you're wandering through the grass. You can also find them under the hedge. The hedge is in the bottom right corner of the map, this giant area down here. Underneath the hedge, they can be down there. The, the right side of the hedge over here, which would be on the, the middle, like down here, is going to be your safer bet because there's far less spiders over towards the middle on the left side there's tons of orb weavers so there could be grubs over there but you're also most li more likely to run into some orb weaver spiders and then the oak tree is also another popular place to find grubs all around the oak tree there's grubs and then in addition to that there's also going to be some places on the map uh as you can see there's an anthill over here and an anthill over here that have, we've discovered these the anthills can definitely have grubs in them now, if you go on the ant hills, you're probably going to wear an, want to wear ant armor so that the ants will leave you alone. But there's also going to be some tunnels that are randomly around the map. And what I'm going to do real quick before I head over to the spot that I want to show you is my favorite spot to find them. So I'm going to show you the spot that you're most likely to run into them first. So let's head over there right now. The first place you're likely to run into a grub is going to be when you're repairing the mysterious machine. So... You're gonna have to come over here, kill the mites that are on the wire here. And as you come down in this cave, there's a good chance you're gonna end up seeing a grub down here. Now this isn't gonna be the best spot to find grubs. It's just probably the most likely the first place you've seen them unless you stumble upon them really early on in the grassland. So we'll just really quickly come down here and show you. As you can see, I haven't run, haven't run into any yet, but hopefully we'll get one. And there's one right there. So what you do is you pull out your shovel, dig it up, and then you just hit it with whatever weapon you have available. And you got the grubs, the grub resources. And we happened to get lucky and there was two here. So we got two there. So as you can see, this tunnel can have a couple of them in them. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. I have been in here before and not seen any. So this is probably the first place you're going to see them. But now let's head over to the place that's most likely to have the most grubs most often. Made my way back to the house after showing you guys the first place you're most likely to run the grubs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly hop on my zip line over here. And we're going to head over to the oak tree. The oak tree is going to be the spot where I typically, if I'm looking for grubs, I'm going to go to. So I've made my way over to the oak tree. This is my favorite spot for finding grubs. I just saw one just a second ago. As you can see, it's right here. Now, I will let you know that sometimes they can be larva. So you want to be careful. Pull out your weapon as quickly as possible before you hit them. Sometimes when you, sometimes when you dig it out, it can actually be larva. Normally it's not, but it can be. And the, so the reason I come over to the oak tree is because the oak tree has tons of dirt around it. Grubs can be all the way around all sides of it. And you might notice that I did put some walls up around the entrances to the tree, which I'll show you really quickly. 
And the reason we did that is because there's a wolf spider spawn inside of there. So there can be, I've seen up to two wolf spiders inside of the tree. So we blocked off this side, the one over here and the one by Burgle. So if the wolf spiders want to get out, they have to go off the other side of the tree, which is the side we don't normally go to. And here we have another one. So if I'm looking for grubs, I'll typically come over here because they're such a large area. And you can hit them with your shovel. It just takes a couple more hits. So we'll just show you that real quick. Recommend just using a weapon. Because they can, if you don't hit them fast enough, they will burrow back under and you'll have to dig them back up. But anyway, so we got a or weaver down there. The, the oh, Here we have another we have two of them. Nice. Well, let's do this one first. Make sure the other one's not a larva. This guy... Where did he sneak off to? Uh-oh. Looks like he might have disappeared. So anyway, that was like... So as you can see, there's also grubs down here. They can be down here in the dirt and all the way around the, the entire tree. So other than the wolf spiders in there, which like I said, you can fence off part of the entrances to mitigate them. You can uh, pretty safely come over here and just find grubs. I found three, and I should have dug that other one out really quickly before. So found three pretty quickly. So anyway, that's where this is the best place I recommend to find grubs. Like I said, you can also find them in the grasslands. You can find them under the hedge. But from my experience, after probably like 50 or so hours in the game, is the oak tree is going to be the best spot to find grubs. They're here pretty much every time. You just have to sometimes you have to walk around a little bit to find them. But you're typically going to find them. As you can see, I found three of them pretty quickly, pretty close together. And I could have had a fourth one if I would have dug it up fast enough. One thing I will mention, not sure if I said it or not, is sometimes the grubs will actually be up on top of the, the tree here. As well as the rock and sometimes even inside the can. I'm not sure if they're going to patch that out at some point. But if you don't see any on the ground, look up on the rocks and also on the, the tree, the tree that's the parts of the tree that are sticking out of the ground. Because sometimes they'll actually be inside of there. And actually, here's the grub over here. Let's make sure we dig this guy up. So you don't miss them. And real quick before we hop on out of here, we will check over. Sometimes they're actually inside this inside the soda can. Interestingly enough. This time we don't have any in here, but we do have a bunch of ants that are stuck for whatever reason. So anyway, that's the best place to find grubs, the oak tree. If you have a better spot, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.